Oh, on fire already. Welcome to Subnautica. We are going to do a playthrough on survival. So I don't need the fire extinguisher anymore. Get that out of your inventory. It's your fabricator. It's where you're going to make all of your resources and items. I want to start with an oxygen tank and fins just because that makes it a lot easier gathering for everything else. So you need silicone rubber and titanium. That's the ship we were on, and now this is where we live. Let's go swimming. Keep an eye on your oxygen, because it definitely runs out fast to begin with. thing we want to make is a repair tool and a scanner. The scanner is going to help get you lots of your uh, blueprints throughout the game. And the repair tool is just going to get this story started once we get the radio going. So we cave sulfur and a battery. Mushrooms, they grow all over the place, pretty easy to come by. Bladder fish you need for water, so definitely don't waste it for cooking. Alright, we gotta find a cave to get the sulfur. seem to be having luck finding an actual cave. Eat something. Okay. The fabricator coats small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Thank you. 
Here we go, let's get back out. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Oh, there's our scanner and I think I get the flashlight as well. The scanner can be used. Now, right now, maybe I can see to get sulfur. Alrighty, let's see if there's a cave in here. Hopefully, we'll find some. We're looking for the crash fish. They hurt if they get you. There's two. Ah, they hurt. You want to find them, but you don't want to find them. Well, that should be enough to get us a repair tool. Looks like another piece of crash. We can check out for new blueprints. Beacon's gonna come in really handy, because I get lost all the time. Once you get a blueprint as well, if you continue to scan the parts, it just gives you titanium. Just like that. There's quite a few blueprints that are useful towards the gameplay, and then some that are just cosmetic while you build your base. Ooh, let's make a couple of those. I get lost way too fast. Repair tool. Now we can get the story going. Plus this will help keep the fabricator powered. So this is what it looks like when it first comes back online. It tells you everything that's going on. You got your power cells. Your fabricator constantly regenerates new med kits for you. Which helps after playing with crash fish. Well, nine, 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 nine hours is quite a while, so we're definitely going to have to look at building a base or something. What else can we build? Or what do we need? Ooh, I already have the stuff to make the high capacity oxygen tank. Definitely go for that. So I'll take the glass back. 
can make another one. And you also have to take the standard tank out of your inventory, otherwise it says you don't have one to make the high capacity tank. Or you make the mistake of making a second one for no reason. Our oxygen's up quite a bit more. And we look at getting a rebreather wiring kit, I believe is silver. Continuing to monitor. Let's get a sea glide so we can move faster. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. another battery as we're using quite a few items that need them. This way we have a backup. Oh yes, let's check the message. Receiving pre-recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. All right, three, 271 meters. I'll catch some food first, make sure we're full, and then we'll head over. It should be more than enough for this trip. Got another radio message. Yeah, let's check it now. from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Knew I should have gone to the first pod before answering that message. Now we have two. Number three. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. 